to demonstrate some of the manual functions, let's go ahead and put the system in manual mode. And as you can see, I already already have a box here on the conveyor being delivered by the emitter. So we're going to start the feed conveyor, bring the box up to the weight scale. Once it gets there, turn the feed conveyor off, just pulse the weight scale conveyor, and bring the box fully on the weight scale. As you can see, I do have weight being registered for that box at 8 kilograms. I update this display in manual mode every second or so. If I grab the box and lift it, you'll see the weight drops to zero because I don't have a box or on the conveyor. If I drop it, it will bounce around a little bit until the weight stabilizes. Uh, now back at 8 kilograms or, or 7.99, so it's not perfect. If you actually look at the numbers coming off this scale, uh, it, it has a much higher resolution and the numbers never really stabilize perfectly, which is very much like it would operate in the real world, so that's kind of neat. Uh, being that that's a medium box, I'm going to go ahead and send that box to front. Start the front conveyor on. When I start the front conveyor, I have it so the ball table automatically points in the right direction. I can start the scale conveyor and send that box on its way. So I should have another box ready to go, another medium box. I'm going to, let's see, pull these off until I get, a, okay, there's a heavy box. So let's go ahead and bring the heavy box up to the scale. And jog it onto the scale itself. And again, 10 kilograms. So we're going to send that to the left. As soon as I turn on the left conveyor, the ball table automatically points to the left. And this was in the PLC program. This isn't how the simulation comes in. You have to program it to do this. And start the scale conveyor and send that box to the left. Okay, I was going to look for a palletizing box. Ah, there we got a palletizing box. Okay, so let's start the feed conveyor again, bring that palletizing box up. Okay, now it's not fully on the scale. So you can see because it's not fully on the scale, I'm not getting the correct weight. 2.65 kilograms. So I need to bring that box on fully onto the scale for it to weigh properly. So let's just bring that in manually. Okay, now we're sitting at 3 kilograms. Just tip that back over. Now we know that needs to go to the right, so I'm going to start the right conveyor and send that box off to the right. Now I can't fully bring that box to the elevator unless I turn on the elevator conveyor itself, which I haven't done yet. So that box is actually going to get hung up right here at this interface because this conveyor isn't functioning in manual.